Hello. So we are back. But this time, let's speak about a tracking device, yeah? Apple AirTag. Uh, the reason why I started this video is because i seen uh, people modifying this, but I didn't see even one video do it in the right way. So what is the Apple AirTag? Apple AirTag is uh, basically it's a tracking device. You can track your uh, keys, your, uh, I don't know. What you can track your bag, your uh, car, your uh, you know what I mean. And uh, I'm impressed by the technology. You know, they are using Bluetooth wideband around six eight gigahertz. But the 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 beauty part here is this it will connect to any phone. Yeah, basically iPhone, Samsung. Uh, and you, the, the device doesn't need a proof from someone's phone to send the data. I mean, if someone on the street is going right now with a AirTag, it will connect to my iPhone and it will send the location without my approval. The yeah, it's like will be seamless. And it's beautiful. I mean, yeah, in the first uh, second, you'll say, okay, but I don't want someone else to use my data and connect to my phone. Well, you can't stop this, yeah? So this is how this works. And the precision of this one, it's about 10 centimeters. That's how precise is this device. Uh, the battery, it will hold the charge about one year. And uh, doesn't have a GPS inside, but the phone's connecting using wide Bluetooth, uh, does have position, it will report the position no matter if you select on the menu to don't use the, your location, yeah? So, uh, really, really good. The Samsung has the same, I believe it's a smart tag, I believe it's called. They have the same, uh, same tracker. Okay, so uh, you understand how this works. This, like how I said, white Bluetooth connecting with any phone from this planet, yeah? And sending the the id actually this is sending the id but the phone which he also it will, it will connect it will send the location and like how i said it will not connect only with my phone can connect with any phone from the planet without the user improvement yeah which is beautiful now <sighs> there is a problem there are you know like we have uh, knives, yeah, and most of the people they are using knives on the kitchen. Uh, but some people they are doing and hurting the other people with knives. Same like this, they are using this to follow, to stalk uh, or track people, and that's bad. And the Apple thinks about solution, and basically, after uh, from eight hours up to twenty four hours. If you have this kind of device on your pocket or on your car, it will let you know on your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, then this it will start beeping. Okay, it will start beeping and it's quite loud. Uh, you know what? I mean, I don't want to follow anyone, yeah? But I want to have one on my car and I don't want to beep. Yeah, I don't want these things to beep. I want to have with my bicycle or I don't know my kids bag yeah but I don't want troubles like this start beeping if this is away from the owner like how I said more than eight hours up to 24 it will start beeping so the video from today is about removing the speaker in the right way okay like how I see this useful is tracking a car and when I mean a car there are expensive cars and uh, you will have no idea how easy it is to steal a car in those days. Uh, the first thing is what a thief it will do. It will use a jammer, yeah, to jam the GPS signal and uh, GSM signal, so you cannot track your car. But not this one, yeah. They cannot do anything about this one. So if you place one of these on your car, they can't jam, jam, yeah, because to jam a frequency is supposed to have a receiver yeah like the car has like a gsm uh, transceiver is receiving and transmitting uh, 
um, the SADNAP, the GPS, has receiving. Okay, is receiving GPS is sending uh, on GSM, so they can jam it, but not this one because this doesn't have a receiver. This is only a transmitter. So in order to jam this, nearly impossible because they have to use uh, six to eight gigahertz and a very powerful jammer to jam every phone, every phone around 200, 300 meters. I mean, most likely they can't do it. So to have this on your car, I see this more uh, like a more better compared with the original, you know, the car design with GPS and uh, GSM uh, tracking because they can jam the, the frequency and you cannot track your car. But with this one, that's why I will have one of this on my car. Just to be sure, if someone will steal my car, I can find it. Okay, so let's open this one and uh, remove the speaker, yeah? Not only the magnet, because the people I see on YouTube, they are removing the magnet. And uh, indeed, you solve the problem, but you still have the coil there, and the coil, it will take the power. Okay, so with the battery, it will get uh, drawn very fast. So let's open this one and uh, try to remove the speaker on the right way. It's kind of a destructive uh, operation because uh, we need to force the plastic to take it out. But let's do it carefully and uh, take this out. First, be sure you heat up the, the air tag. Because it has some sticky band uh, inside. So let's be sure we are heating uh, first. I'm using the hot air around 100 degrees. And you can see it has a small, a small bezel there. Okay, you have one more clip here somewhere. And I think we are good to go. Let's see. Yeah, looks like, okay. So that's the air tag inside. Pretty interesting device. So you have the magnet here and you have the coil here. So that's your speaker. So you can remove the you can remove the, the magnet from here. Yeah, that's what you can do. Okay. But the problem is you still have the coil, and I seen videos removing the magnet but not the coil, okay? Now, in some devices, this can be used like an antenna, you know, the speaker coil can be used like an antenna. But not on this case, yeah? This is the coil. So we can see here, one antenna here, yeah? We can see it here, okay? And we can see another one here. You see this metal? I believe that's the antenna. Okay, it's pretty interesting design. So if you only remove the magnet, but not the coil, yeah, the coil, it will still take the power and it will draw the battery down, yeah? So all you have to do is to remove, remove the coil. Actually, just break one wire, that's all. You can break one wire and problem solved, okay? That's all what you have to do. So now the device, even if it's beeping, it will not take more power from the battery. 
that's all and now we can put it back all together now let's put it back and we are done Yeah, that's all. Now the battery and the back. All done, I knew. You can't even see what's open before. Okay, let's test it one more time. Let's test it. Yeah, so he's saying, you can see the, the, the precision. Actually, if I go further, or I move this, yeah, let's move it. And he's saying the distance, yeah. Let's bring it closer. And he's saying it's here. Pretty precise. Okay? So now it's working fine, yeah. Now I don't have to worry, this will start beeping. I mean, let's be honest, if you stick this on your car, or your bicycle, or your bag, or your uh, kids, I don't know, you don't want this to beep. Because that's what they do to prevent stalking um, after a few hours, being far away from the owner, it will start beeping. Okay? So that's the right way to do it. So now this, even if it's beeping, You'll not hear the sound and it will not drawn down the battery. Okay, which is the most important thing. So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.